Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Defoe, founder, business coach, and public speaking instructor for GTA Preneurs. Welcome to Spotlight for Business by GTA Preneurs. I'm so happy to be here today with Laura Armstrong. Welcome to the show, Laura. How are you doing today? Great. Thanks for having me, uh, Tammy. I love GTA Preneurs. They are one of the premier networking groups in Toronto, and I've been able to really develop a lot of connections, a lot of business, and a lot of community around your group. So I'm very grateful for that. That's awesome. I'm so happy to have you at the event. And you were a former guest speaker with GTA Preneurs just a few months ago. Yeah, it was great. You know, uh, I didn't realize how I talked about a communication methodology we're going to talk about in a minute, but how many people were... Um, uh, really enjoying a what I talked about, but B uh, found it really useful and helpful in their business. So um, it was just a great opportunity. And I was able to connect with so many people about it to help them and further them in their business. That's great. You know, and I always want to have guest speakers who can provide a lot of value for the guests. Uh, for sure. important. You know, I'm not looking for people that, you know, just want to sell something, you know, it's about uh, providing value. And this is what you offer is something that entrepreneurs and even non-entrepreneurs can genuinely use to help improve their lives and their businesses. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. And even their careers too. If you're not an entrepreneur and you work, uh, what do you do actually can help you with that as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm a leadership accelerator and a communication expert. And as a three-time world champion, I know what it takes to create a leadership legacy and step into your leadership and bring your business to the next level. But communication is such a important part of that because especially now um, in society we need to communicate so much better and up level our skills and what I offer uh, gives them the opportunity to do that. That's awesome yeah so tell everybody more about what you do then because you have a few different things and um, so first of all who are the people that you like to help tell us more about that. Yeah absolutely so for me um, a lot of the time it's about you know, I help successful entrepreneurs and executives, um, but I also work in corporate as well. And I help those who want to achieve world championship leadership and abilities and communication mastery. So that will allow them to drive their business to the next level by strengthening their confidence in the sales and relationship process, um, because I feel like that's lost these days. And that will allow them to transform, you know, transform and expand their mindset and empower them to connect and deepen their business relationships. And it, it helps them expand uh, personal and professional growth, giving them the income that they deserve. And I feel like a lot of the time when we do training, income is not stressed. It's seen as something that's, you know, you shouldn't be thinking about that, but it's also a part of the process. And I love the fact that, you know, when I help people, it helps them in a well-rounded way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think that's one of the issues um, that people do have with the lack of confidence, right? Whether it be in, you know, kind of asking for that promotion or maybe applying for certain jobs that they think, well, I'm really not qualified. Or when it comes to negotiating your salary, right? To saying what Absolutely. you think you deserve, right? And, you know, that's a common, you know, common issue with a lot of people too, that they're just not getting what they want. And I mean, the employer is going to be like, oh, well, this person will settle for this much. Okay, that's great. Save me money, right? But if you have these skills, you can provide this value to a business where they're going to make lots of money from your work, then you should be compensated for that. Absolutely. You know, and a part of the trainings that I do is bank. It's a communication methodology that actually teaches you to recognize what uh, people's values are. And there are four different personality codes. So the values in each code are very different. So once you start to recognize and learn what those values are in each person, you'll be able to, when you connect with people, have clues about what you need to speak to about them to, you know, get what you're looking for out of the outcome of the conversation. Because there's always an outcome. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be about money. It could be a better relationship. It yep. could be something you have to offer. So yeah, it's very key. 100%. Yeah. Like you said, career, business, or even personal relationships, right? There are a lot of people out there who, you know, Absolutely. they want to, yeah, they want to make more friends, right? Or maybe they even want to find a romantic partner, but they just, uh, I'm not sure how, what's the best way to communicate to achieve that goal, right? And, um, you know, in terms of communication for business, business is about relationships. You know what, if, if you aren't able to express yourself um, in the right way, you're not able to have those conversations in the meetings and that, you yeah, know, that's right. Yeah. Your success is going to be much lower. Yeah, so. absolutely. You know, and 66% of um, people's customers, and this is a Salesforce number, so I know it's valid, are, you, are turned off by your presentation. So that's a large number, <laughs> right? So what if you could deliver the proper presentation or conversation every single time Yeah, by knowing someone's personality code? Like it's yeah. just invaluable. 
Yeah, exactly. So tell us more about that. So this is the bank and some people have never heard of bank. So can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, for sure. So bank is a personality coding methodology. And I know we've all done those personality assessments. I mean, they're great. And all of them have value because they, they tell you about yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but I noticed that not one of them helped me close more sales in less time. Um, not one of them, um, uh, helped me to predict my client's behavior or anything like that. It just told me about myself. The thing about bank that's special is it's reverse engineered to get you out of your head and thinking about the other person and the values that are important to them. So it allows you to close more sales and increase your sales up to 300%. But even more than that, it allows you to have a better relationship with the person, which improves client retention. And it also improves your relationship status with them. You want to deepen that relationship, especially now, um, and keep people close to you so you can continue to keep helping them. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that's where it comes to like modeling, right? That you want to be assessing when you're with them, what type of personality does this person have? And then you can modify your conversation. So instead, if you do the same thing with every person you meet, then you're probably missing out on some opportunities because what that's you're correct. saying, right, is going to fall flat with some people and some other people. Yeah, that makes sense to me. But um, and so personality, that's a complicated topic. I mean, there's so many personalities out there, right? So, but what are, what is the way, like, what are the four main um, areas that, you know, people need to uh, start um, recognizing in other people? Sure. Yeah. The, so just a little bit about each code. So um, BANK is an acronym, B-A-N-K. So it stands okay. for Blueprint, Action, Nurturing, and Knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and this all fits in with the leadership that I teach because it's a, a critical component of your leadership and your business, as you can see. Um, the blueprint is the first one. They're very organized. Uh, they love processes. They love uh, structure. Um, they don't like risk. Um, and they love to feel like there's maximum value in whatever they're doing. So they have to have a system and a plan for everything. Mm -hmm. um, with these people, um, the blueprints, you don't want to be late to meetings because they really value their time. Okay. And uh, if you can show up earlier than they do, they're usually 15 minutes early. I mean, it could cost you business. So, I mean, if you didn't know that and you lost business, you'd be wondering why, that's why. So be on time for blueprints. Mm -hmm. Actions are the go-getters. They're the mover shakers, millionaire makers. These are the people who are, yeah, I'm an action too, right? <laughs> I get it. Who will jump off the cliff at a great opportunity. It's very exciting for them. They love competition and winning. They love to be seen from head to toe. It's all for show. Um, these are the people who are enigmatic actors, entrepreneurs, um, people who um, are always out there and, <coughs> excuse me, speaking and connecting with people. Um, they are very picky about the people that they work with. Um, so make sure that you look good, um, you know, and there's deeper training about this. This is just a very general. Yeah, overview. I know. They, it, well, there's a whole exactly. Whole yeah, system. exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, the third one's the nurture. These are the probably some of the most kind, caring people that you know. Um, they love community and feeling like they're being included. Um, they're very authentic. So when you're talking to them, make sure you look them in the eyes and you're being truthful because they know if you're pulling one over them and they'll have nothing to do with that. So they have high morals and ethics. Um, these people, their currency is usually not in money. It's in referrals. These mm -hmm. people you want in your network, they're beautiful people. They want to help you and they're willing to do that. Okay. And the last one is the knowledge. They are a really interesting personality type. And as you saw with the other three, very different than the other three. These are some of the smartest people that you'll meet. They love learning and education. They love to be at self-mastery of what they do. These are the people who ask a ton of questions and are almost to the point of being annoying. But the thing is they have analysis paralysis a lot of the time and all they're trying to get out of you is enough information to make a decision. Again, it's not about you right? So you want to be making sure you're speaking to the values that are important to them, sending documentation, information, white papers, whatever you've got, mm -hmm. um, and allowing the, them the time to digest that. So a lot of the time when I'm working with a knowledge, I don't close them on the first, maybe even the second call. I have to give them time to process everything. So a very different animal than the other three codes. Mm -hmm. So that's just a little bit about each code. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it makes sense. And right. But I mean, the thing is that like none of us are just one type of person, mm -hmm. right? We all have different ones, right? And, and for me, you know, um, like I am also very authentic and genuine. Like I don't, I don't believe on, you know, pulling them over on people or anything like that, right? So, you know, even though you have a lot in one category, right? It's not going to be 100% this, you're going to have other ones. Like for myself, um, I'm also a nurturer. 
right? That That's correct. Yeah. I like to be included, right? I like to be part of a community and stuff like that. I also like to include other people. Like the way my mind works is I'm always about how can I help someone else, right? That's right. Right. And I mean, for me, for GTA entrepreneurs, we have these exclusive referral networking groups, right? And so I coach four groups. I have another a coach that does another group. And it's all about not just promoting yourself. It's all about how can you help the other people? You know, recently I was, um, you know, I was at my storage unit, right? And I was having a random conversation with the person. Like, I know a great one of those who could help you out. Right. Or I went for with a hiking group and I was like, oh, I know great one else who can help you out. Right. So, I mean, where me, like I'm an action person where I don't wait for things to happen. I don't wait for things to come to me. I'm going to go in and go out and do what it takes. Right. But um, I'm also very genuine, very caring. And also too, like I, I'm, I'm a very educated person, right? I definitely like um, having knowledge and stuff like that. But um, the one thing you said before where, um, you know, it's also to, to kind of get to the point, right? So if you're with a person who, who is action, right? We only have so many minutes in the day. We want to accomplish lots of things in those times. So don't kind of go on for too, too, too long about everything else. Kind of just be succinct, get to the point. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so that's, uh, you know, about, uh, me in terms of blueprint that's yeah. Last on my list and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> I like spontaneity and stuff like that. Right. And I, I do work on being early too, and especially if there's a blueprint I'm going to be working with. Right. But, um, you know, we all have different, um, strengths and stuff, but you know what, that's, that's what it's all about. Like these are again, like you said, it's just an overview. Um, but when people do your program, because they need to do this, you have a leadership program and stuff like that. Right. And you're going to teach them details. First, you're going to teach them about themselves right? And then teach them about other people. And then how can they modify their style to other people, right? Like, for example, if I know somebody who is a knowledge person, right, I'm going to be making sure, I mean, honestly, with everybody, I, I try to give, do everything for everybody anyways. Like I make sure everybody has all the information and stuff like that. Um, and if they are a person who does need more time, like I'm okay with that as well. I don't really want to pressure anybody. Um, but now in terms of your, um, your leadership, like is it courses it's individual sessions how does that work yeah so uh, i i do have a three-day leadership challenge coming up december 4th uh, sorry december 7th to 10th uh it's absolutely free and people can take it so i can send you more information about that yeah, um sure. but really i i offer my first level is called gold medal leadership it's a 12-week program um and it it really uh for inex not inexperienced for people looking to step into more leadership and right now we are all stepping into leadership, whether you believe it or not. Yeah. Um, it's going to get you really clear on where you want to be in your business and what kind of leadership you want to step into. So we go through this 12-week program, six modules, six Q&As, um, and that, that is a good starter program. Now, for an experienced leader, this is also a great program because you know, if you want to bring your business to the next level, you're going to hit a block at some point, something's going on. And this is going to allow you to work through that to step into even more power that you already have. Yeah, exactly. um, my second program is the year-long uh, Leadership Warriors Mastermind. That's 12 sessions, 12 months, 12 live uh, coaching sessions with a bunch of other stuff. Um, and that really will bring over the year your business to the next level. And I don't mean like I did in gold medal leadership. It will make it bigger. You will mm -hmm. grow as a person. You will grow as a business person. You will yeah. grow in every area of your life. Um, things aren't just business. They're mm -hmm. so much more than that. And then my high-end program is called Leadership Legacy. This is for people who don't want to work in groups and prefer to work one-on-one. -on -one. It's a six-month program. I only do 10 of those a year because they are so intensive. Mm -hmm. We take you through a number of strategy sessions to move your business really quickly, intensely, and make a global impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are my leadership programs. Yeah. No, that's awesome, right? And um, it is really a holistic approach, you know? Um you know, especially Absolutely. if you're a business owner, right? When you're an employee, you know, or you're management for a company, right? Once you leave the company, you can, you know, whatever you do is kind of your own personal time, right? But when you're a business person that, um, you know, you represent your brand, right? And stuff. And so that's important that you kind of have that down. But, um, you know, it is not enough just to have a good product or to have a good service, right? There is so much more to being an entrepreneur. And, you know, a lot of people, they want to be successful, but they do kind of have that shell. People stick with their safety zone. Right. So for you to be able to help them to get out of that and gain that confidence that they can really expand, that's essential, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the things like what you're saying here is I encounter the most often is people don't know what their niche market is and a part of leadership, it has to be that. So we define that as well. So, I mean, that's just another layer, 
you know, and, you know, there's so many layers to leadership. You can get into emotional intelligence and all those other things. But at the beginning here, like that's where you want to start. And that's where you want to move from a position where you're feeling powerful and empowered. Exactly. Right. And I think it's so awesome that you are uh, having a free program that people can join. They can just try it out and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, see what that's all about because it is valuable. And um, we're going to be providing that information for everybody. Yeah, I'll give you the here. link for sure. Yeah, in yeah. the link and you can check that out. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know how often you're going to do the free one. So if people are interested, they should get on board right away uh, for that. And um, we're also going to put the links for Laura's social media pages and her website and the bank. I really highly recommend um, learning about the bank system and, and signing up with that because it can definitely change um, the way other people view you, Absolutely. right? And, and at the end of the day, you may think what you're doing is great, but if the other people who are seeing you, hearing you talk and that, if, if they're having a different experience, you know, then maybe what you're, you know, you're doing needs to be changed, right? So it's, uh, it's good to have that extra person on the outside to, to see that. And, um, and that way you can polish, you can make sure the way you're coming across the effort you're putting into presenting yourself, whether it be an event or in a meeting or something like that. So you, the effort you're putting in there is actually going to get you the results you want. Absolutely. Because it's one of these things, you know, if you keep doing the same thing, you get the same answer. So if you keep getting the answer you don't want, um, where people, maybe they don't want to book appointments with you, right. Or that, or the booking appointments with you, but then you're not closing any sales, then this can really help them to figure out why and what can they do differently to yeah. make that different. Yeah. To make it better. Absolutely. And, you know, I think the other thing that um, is lacking in a lot of communication with people is they need to, when they go into a meeting with someone, be sure of what the outcomes are that they're looking for. Yeah. And that's not a selfish thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be helping them could mm -hmm. be the outcome. It doesn't necessarily have to be sales or money. So know what your outcomes are before you're going in. And that is going to keep you focused on your meeting and closing the sale in less time and communicating better. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just like you said, you know, you should be writing down what your goals are uh, for each meeting and then evaluating yourself. You know, how right. did that go? You know, what things did I do good? What things could I improve on? And, um, you know, that's really important. I really believe in win-wins. So, you know, when you are talking with a person, it shouldn't just be about you. Right? right. And people have to be aware of there's something called a black hole conversation that I like to tell people about. Um, and I'm sure you've experienced those. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this sort of black hole conversation is so you ask someone a question in a meeting, right? And expecting an answer that maybe 30 seconds to 60 seconds at the most. And they keep talking and they keep talking and they keep talking and you never know what it's going to end. Right. And I've had with this experience of people, it's just like, oh my goodness, when is this person going to stop in that? And then afterwards, I'm like, you know, I never want to talk to this person again. Um, they were not, had no awareness that this is supposed to be a back and forth conversation. And so they really, it was just really a waste of both of our times, you know, because they wanted to get me as a client, but now I don't want to talk to them again. So they pushed me away. Right. Um, and then, you know, like for myself, you know, then I wasn't really able to get a word in edgewise. Right. And I like to talk. So it's difficult for, for me not to be able to get a word in edgewise. So it is definitely something people need to be aware of those things. The conversation should be back and forth. And then using the language that's going to be suitable to that person. That's right. Correct. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I think that's fabulous. Lori, you did a great job at the present, uh, with your presentation at my event. Uh, I'm so happy to have you. You're always welcome to come back as a guest speaker in the future and to come out to any of my events. Um, I'm definitely happy to promote you and your services. I think they're fantastic. I've gotten great feedback from people. I know that have taken your leadership program and uh, yeah, people need to reach out. So reach out to Laura and find more about that. This can definitely help take your business to the next level. As again, it's not just about having a great product or service. It's the whole, how do you present yourself to the world and stuff like that to, to increase it. So for your time and your effort, you want to get the most results you can get. So that's awesome. Laura. Yeah. And take my leadership challenge, December 7th to 9th. I'll that's put great. the link in and yeah. I really want to see you guys there. I want to help you move to the next level. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, it's free. So you have nothing Absolutely. to lose. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Everything to gain. Yeah. So reach out to Laura. She's awesome. I'm so happy to be connected with her. And um, if you are interested in uh, GTA Preneurs events, I'll put the link to join our meetup group actually in the chat. Uh, I always post the upcoming events in there. You'll get an email from meetup when I post a new one. It's a great time to come out and give your pitch uh, for the pitch. This is again, something that maybe Laura can help you with, right? Um, certainly if you Absolutely. are a member of a, a GTA Preneurs referral group or public speaking course, you're also going to learn how to do the pitch because you know what? You never get the second chance to make the first impression. That's right. right? And so what you're saying in that 30 to 45 seconds, however much time you have is so important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, GTA Preneurs Public Speaking for Entrepreneurs course is starting January the 11th. Uh, 
please visit gtapreneurs.com for more information. Um, Laura's program is December 7th to the 9th. That's exciting. GTApreneurs next open networking event is on Thursday, November the 26th at 7 p.m. You're all invited to come. And thanks again for coming today, Laura. It's great to have you. Yeah, I agree. I love Tammy and I love GTA Printers and I'm so excited to see where the future of your organization is going. Thanks so much, Laura. Happy to have you here today. All right. Take care.